Today we're going to be learning about optical illusions and op art, and we're specifically going to focus on Bridget Riley and one of her zigzag creations. So let's take a look into first as a class, we're going to go through this um, slideshow of some different arts, um, optical illusions, and see how lines and color and so forth can really play those tricks on your eye. After that, we're going to jump in to our project. So let's take a look at an example and let's get started. We are going to be basing our project off of Bridget Riley's piece called Blaze from 1962. So let's start with tracing our background templates and then drawing using a black marker. All right, so today what we're going to do is we are going to trace our circles more like a template in order to know our stopping points to create a zigzag piece that moves similar to Bridget Riley. So at your tables, I'm going to have you share these four different template tracers. As you can see, they're all various sizes and they do get larger. It doesn't matter if you start with one that's, you know, not the smallest one, but the in between one or even the largest one. It will not matter wherever you do because I've already cut this paper to nine by nine for us and your circles will fit perfectly as you would do it. So for example, if I ended up with this one here, and I know there's some writing on one of these, I'm gonna try to find the center. And what I will do is I'm going to lightly trace. So remember you wanna draw light until you get it right. So I'm gonna trace around this. The reason we're drawing nice and light is because we will erase it at the very end. On um, the video here, I'm pushing a little harder so you can see until um, you begin your own. I recommend going as light as you can. So say you have the next one of being the cup or there's a lid for it, which the lid would look like this. It's the same um, one as well. And all you're going to do is trace around it. So in all, you are going to do four circles. What I would like you to do at this point is to start using, when you get your templates and your paper, please start doing your template tracing. Again, the lines don't need to be perfect because we are going to be erasing them. They're there just as a guide. So the best thing I usually do is I work my way around. I don't really need to move my hand. And you can see how I'm just going lightly all the way around. So you're gonna have one, two, three, four. If you could do that now. Great, so the next part of what we're going to do is I want to practice in pencil before we take out our black markers. We're gonna talk about control using our markers today. So with the pencil, just to get an idea, I would like you to do a dot in the center of the smallest circle. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to draw a straight line and stop at the first circle. The next, you're going to zigzag now. So we're gonna go on an angle and draw a zag and stop at the second line. Now we're also going to go and zag to the next one. And lastly, we're gonna to go to our final one. You'll notice you're gonna have some gaps and spaces here on um, the outside edges. And that's what we're going to do with our project is we're going to continue that. So I'm gonna take out my example. And here is my example. So using the marker you can see, and it's hard to still see the lines, but the way it zags and zigs around, it gives the illusion that there's still the circles there. And that's part of the drawing you in and out as it goes. I also tried to go back and make my lines as close as I could together. So this is more of a warm up practice as our first project of practicing our optical illusions with line. 
So looking at our piece, you'll notice I have a nice thin line. But last year we talked about things that are in the distance are always going to be smaller, right? And things that are closer to you are going to be larger. So what I would like you to do is your third line right here, we're going to make it just a little bit thicker, okay? And then my last one, I'm going to make it nice and thick. It's going to be nice and big, okay? Because when we go to use our marker, we are going to go thin, a little bit thicker, thicker, really thick, and extra thick when it goes off. So for here, I have this tiny little space. I'm going to make this extra wide, nice and thick, okay? So I want us to practice, how do we continue this? Same thing, you can go on the left side if that's easier for you, because I'm a lefty, I tend to work my way and turn my paper this way. If you are right-handed, I probably recommend sticking on the right side and working. So whatever is easiest for you. I don't want you to feel like you have to cross over. That seems very difficult. I mean, I can go on this side too, or this side. So what you're going to do is your next line, I want you to draw a straight line again and stop at the first circle. And then I'm going to continue repeating that pattern. And I'm going to do this one and I'm gonna make this a little thicker. And finally, I'm gonna make this extra thick. and really thick, okay? So once we have the hang of this, the next thing that we're going to do, and I'm gonna try to get back in the screen here, is use our marker. So using a nice thick black marker, um, you know, we're always, I like these because the thin ones are great, but they don't have as many capabilities to make thick and thin lines. So when you take off, your marker, and these are probably brand new because it's the beginning of the year, you'll notice your marker has a nice tip. This is fantastic because it can make a really skinny line. And then you see how it gets a slant here, right? That can make a nice thick line. So when I'm practicing on papers or different things, I'll show you how easy it is. So here's just a paper, okay? If I have my marker up and down nice and straight i'm not even angling it like i would use it i'm going to go as perfectly straight and vertical as i can it's going to make a super skinny line now i'm going to draw it like i would normally draw it's a little thicker now i'm going to lean my marker a little bit it gets a little thicker and i mean lean my marker all the way do you see that difference that's what we're going to do on our paper here so we're gonna make those three thick type of lines on here, or four, I should say. So let's trace over what we did. You're gonna vertical first, and you're gonna try your best, it feels very weird, to draw a straight, skinny line. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Now I'm gonna hold it normal, and I'm just gonna draw my line. The next one, we're going to go a little thicker, leaning it on its side just a tiny bit. This last one, I'm gonna lean it all the way. See how it covers it? And finally, I'm just gonna do two of them and it fills that in. So let's do this again. Skinny, skinny as you can. Holding your marker normal. Lean it to the side all the way and two nice thick lines and all you're going to do is keep rotating your paper and continuing so i will show you my video the best way to do this is to go nice and slow too much talking is really hard, even for me. I like I made the oops of touching this, it happens. So feel whatever is comfortable for you. 
you're gonna notice as a lefty, it starts getting tricky on me because I don't wanna smudge all of this and smear it. So that's why I recommend you do the side that feels comfortable to you. If you need to change midway, change. So I'm gonna turn it this way for me. Now I'm gonna go, okay, this feels much better. And just keep going nice and slow. I'm gonna play my other video where I did it on blue to show you what blue looks like. And the more I practice this, the easier it becomes. And I also have them really nice and close to each other. So keep going and when we're done, we will finally, we'll erase these pencil marks and we'll take a look at our illusions. <laughs> This is what we're going to be working on for each of those circles. 